Yo, Venetian, have you been in the market for a nice, small, portable movie projector for your movie nights? Then I think you're going to stay tuned to check out this video on this small movie projector from Accio, all right? Yo, Skippy, roll that intro. Okay, YouTube, this is your boy, Mark for Loose Cruise Reviews, back to give another video. But you know how we do, before we get started, let's get all that business and politics out of the way. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so we notify new videos. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Go ahead and subscribe, subscribe. All right, now that we got all that business and politics out of the way, let's get to the video. Yo, you know, it's your main man, Mark. Back again with another video. Today, we're going to take a look at a nice, portable, small, mini movie projector. All right, but before we get started, can you do me a favor? Can you go down there and hit the subscribe button? It really helps the channel, and it's free, don't cost anything, and you'll be helping somebody out. All right, all right, all right. Let's get to it. Let's get to this video. Yeah, today, you know, View Nation, we're going to be looking at a nice little mini portable movie projector, you know, from a company called Akio. I hope I'm saying the name right. But, uh, yeah, it's a nice little small portable movie projector you can take with you on the go, you know, good for movie nights. You can, you know, take it, you know, if you want to go camping or, you know, you go on a vacation and take it with you. This would be a nice little, you know, projector to take with you. Let me give you some of the specs for the uh, spec junkies out there. It's a mini projector with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, 1080p supported iPhone projector with projector stand and what have you. Portable, this is a portable movie projector for home theater, outdoor cable. Uh, it works with, you know, it's compatible with iOS, Android, laptop, TV, and a uh, fire stick. So basically what they're saying, you can connect the fire stick to it, or you can connect your, uh, your gaming devices to it. You know, you can game on it, whatever. You know, uh, like I said, what I'm gonna probably be doing is uh, plugging a fire stick up to it and uh, use it for a movie night or something like that. But uh, let's get this bad boy out of the box to see what we're working with, all right? Let's see what we got here. There's nothing really on the box. You see you see right here on the box where it's saying, uh, you know, Wi-Fi mini, LED projector and all that good stuff. And got this little HDMI, you know, thing right here. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy out of the box and uh, see what we got. All right, let's open it up. All right, let's get it here, see what we got. Let's take it out of the box. Oh, let's see here. They got it packed real good, nice and tight. All right, nothing else in the box. All right, toss the box to the side. All right, let's turn it over before I was being spilled everything out. Let's see what we got right here. All right, looks like, uh, looks like we have the, uh, instruction booklet we got some accessories right here to get this uh foam out of the way let's see right here okay got a little little tripod right here a little tripod action that's cool comes with a tripod that's that's cool so we're gonna set that to the side right now let's see what we that for a minute let's see what we got in here okay we look like we got a power cable boy this is a big power brick right here boy oh man this is this is big anyway let's put that to the side all right, what we got here? I think this might be the HDMI cable that, that I was talking about it com comes with. Let's take it out of the plastic. Let's see here. Yep, this is your HDMI cable right here. You can go ahead and uh, we got it right. There's a little plastic over here, you know, you know, covering it, protecting it. Let's put it to the side. All right, let's uh, that paper out of the way. Then you got the little, you know, simple, easy to use remote control. Let's take it out. Let's, let's see if it has any batteries in there. Uh, let's see here. Toss that to the side. Let's see here. Let's see if we got any batteries in here. Doesn't feel like any batteries in here. Nope. But it'll take, uh, looks like it's, it'll take, you know, two AAA batteries. That would have been nice to have uh, uh, some batteries in there. But it is what it is. For the price, you know, I'm not complaining. But uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and put this back. All right. Put it aside. Well, let you, let you look at it. Look at the remote control. You got your power button. You got your, uh, you know, your mute button. You got your back forward then you got your play and pause right here you know this stuff is explanatory right here you got your little uh input buttons right here back button i think that might be like a menu button or what have you and you can control the volume right here as well and i think that's uh to go to different inputs but we'll we'll see in a minute let's put that down also you got something to uh, uh keep the lenses clean all right that's pretty cool that's pretty cool let's get to the main uh, main feature the projector itself Nothing else in here. Let's toss that to the side. Get this out of the paper. Okay, I had it wrapped real good. Okay, okay, this is small. This thing is small. 
Let's see, what are, the, what are the dimensions on this bad boy? The dimensions on here are uh, 5.4 inches by 2.8 by 3.4 inches. About the size of a Coke can. I mean, this is small. Like I have a can, I got a candle right here. A little small candle. Man, look at that. This thing is tiny. This thing is tiny. But let's see what we got here. Let me get it where you can see it real quick. Have you seen it? Looks like you got the same controls like you had on the remote control, back, forward, uh, OK button. Uh, you have your uh, up and down. So that's probably going to be for your volume. You got your power button right here. Got the little minimum branding right here. Got the name. Got some little stuff right here. Don't look OK. Well, that's that should be self-explanatory. Don't look into the, you know, the, the camera while it's, while it's on. All right. Let's look on the back of it. Uh, you got your IR sensor right there for, you know, for remote control. The power, you know, that's where you put your power cord right here. And well, wait, they got something for uh, headphones. Or I would think you could also use that for, you know, Bluetooth speaker. You know, if you want to plug a Bluetooth speaker and it still has a 3.5 millimeter jack. Then you got your HDMI port right here. This is where you would put your, you know, the HDMI cord or your fire stick. That's where I'll be putting my fire stick right here. Then you got an AV input or output, whatever. Uh, then you got a... Then you got the USB, so you can, you know, if you got movies on the USB, go ahead and plug it in there, you're good to go. All right, let's look at the bottom. Got the little rubber stops on there to keep it from, you know, moving around. And you can mount this on a tripod, which it comes with one, but, you know, if you got, a, you know, a different tripod you want, you can uh, use that. That's pretty cool. And you can, uh, this information right here, you can pause this and read it for yourself. If you guys have seen that. All right. And you got some, uh, what is this? Okay, this might be, let me see what this is. I think this, I think this is the, like the, the stick that uh, they could use to, uh, yeah. I knew that was, you can use to level it out. Like you, if you need to, you know, tilt it, have it tilted up, whatever. You could do it like that, you know. And then you got your uh, lens cover right here. Uh oh, I'm about to lose it. Get the lens cover, pretty cool, all right. And let's see the size, you know, got your uh, little like, like venting right there. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think these are vents too, but this is, should be the speaker. Okay, here's your keystone, you know, the, uh, the keystone, you know, so you can have it, you know, make sure it's you know, looking flat or whatever on, on the wall but, uh, or whatever you uh, shine it to. And you got your focus right here. So you got the focus, keystone right here. All right. But this is small, this is tiny. This is tiny, it just fits in the palm of your hand don't take up a lot of room so this would be perfect to take with you you know on trips or whatever this is this is cool let's go back up top man this is this is pretty nice I mean but what the thing is how does it work you know does it does it do work good does it show a good picture so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go and get this set up and uh check it out and see you know see how it's working and we'll come back and I'll let you guys see you know how, how it works all right hold tight all right, we have the projector set up right here. I'll show you. I want you to see how it looks in the daytime. I got it on a tripod right here. I'm using my GoPro to film this outside. As you can see here, got the Fire State 4K power up right here, and I got it plugged into a power um, portable power station. All right, you can see right here all the buttons, branding, and this is how I have it set up on the tent. That's why I like this small projector because it's portable doesn't take up any room, it's light, it's easy to pack and go, it's, you know, it's, it's what you need. And this is a 60 inch screen, which, you know, I could use, I had a bigger screen up here, but, you know, as you see right here, it's kind of in a way, but trust me, at night, this thing looks cool, man. At night, working the videos, I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. But we'll come back at nighttime so you can see exactly how this thing looks at night and how good the picture is for a portable mini projector all right hold tight okay now that we have the projector set up and here in the tent as you can see i got it on a tripod you might not be able to see because it's dark out here all right here's uh one of the settings menu let's go back out all right you can either you know mirror it to your phone or you know you can hook up your like i have the fire stick hooked up to it or usb stick or you can have you know 
audio video cables like for some old school uh, gaming devices or what have you so let's go to settings let's see here you can connect it to your Wi-Fi and let's see here go back up and get back out of here and go back I want to go back up you need Bluetooth mode which I have it off because I have this uh, I have it set up through fire stick and let's see here you can change you know different color modes on there I have a 75% uh, projection zoom which is perfect for this size uh, screen I have in here let's see here let me get back out of here and you can you know change the music mode you standard or what, what have you bass and all that good stuff which I like I said earlier I have it connected to a uh, Bluetooth speaker and then here is some more stuff on here you can change it in a language restore factory default picture mode you can have it going back or forward Let me, let's try that real quick okay you see it's going like showing it backwards showing it on the front and the ceiling and back all right, so let's get out of here and let's go to the HDMI, which is the fire stick. Let's see here, and we'll watch uh, some of uh, videos off uh, my YouTube channel. Let's see what we have on here. Let's try this one out. Not sure what's going on with that sound. Skip that. You're looking for something to spice it up, you know. While rocking out to your favorite tunes, that they can watch your picture. tune and check out this rock speaker. All right, we'll Pretty skip good it. picture. Roll that intro. Okay, YouTube, this is your boy Mark from Loose Groove Reviews, back to getting another video. That's a pretty good picture. But you know how we do before we get started. We see all that business and politics now. Let's go ahead and find something else. Button, let's find, let's see how it looks right here. Showing good colors. Let's go find another video. Let's see. Let's try this video. Fifty percent. It was like that's full, actually you know, the Bluetooth so speaker that I have these, connected to it. Now I know you're saying, you know, hey, hey, Malt, you didn't show the app. Man, if you ain't seen the app uh, a million times, I'm pretty let's sure. Let's go back and see how the music sounds on here. Actually, some, some pretty good, pretty good picture for a small projector like this. Let's go ahead and see about some Netflix and see how that works. But we're not going to put Netflix on there too long because we don't want to get no uh, copyright strikes. Let's go up here, Netflix. All right, it's asking for an update on this, so I guess we won't be uh, doing that. Let's get out of here. Let's see what else we have on here. So as you can see right here, it shows a good picture. It shows a pretty good picture. Let's go ahead and end, let's go ahead and uh, get out of this real quick and go back into the studio so we can finish this video. Yo, V Nation, we're back. It's a different day, and man. No, you guys got a chance to see the footage for yourself. I took it outside and took it into the into a tent. And uh, like I say, this this is a perfect size to take camping or you know take on a trip. I mean, it didn't take up much room. Plus, you know, you have a a, a way to mount it on the tripod, which you know it comes with a tripod. But as you saw, I had it mounted on a different tripod. How I have it set up in the tent. And I'm telling you, this is pretty pretty decent. For the price, this is something that's not going to break the bank. So this is something you can get, you know, be a good gift for or for the kids or whatever. But this is something you're not worrying about, you know, something happening to it because I mean it's small, compact, and it's budget friendly. And and on top of that, it has a good picture. You know, I mean, who knew something this small and in, in this package would you know have a, such a good picture. And like I said, you know, how I, I'm going to be using it, you know, most of the time is going to be with a fire stick. As you see right here, I got a fire stick. It easily plugs into here. Like, like so. 
too easy, too easy. And like I said, if you have some old school, you know, uh, uh, devices or whatever you want to, you know, put, a, you know, in headphones, you can put it, uh, you can put like some headphones or speakers or whatever in there. But, you know, me, I just use the Bluetooth on there, you know. So also, you know, a recap on it, you, you saw it, it will connect to your internet. Also, you can also, um, well, I'm saying also so many times, you can go ahead and, and mirror it from your phone. That's one thing I didn't show, but trust me, it does work just like you're on your TVs at home, your smart TVs. It, you know, whatever's on here, it mirror, everything's on your phone. So if you know you don't have a fire stick and you just got your cell phone, this is my little Note 20, Note 20 Ultra, man, you could use that. I mean, it's very versatile. Like I said, you can either use a fire stick, you could use the HDMI cord to plug it up into some other device, or if you want to, to uh, plug into a, uh, like a gaming console, you know, you know, not for serious gamers, but you know, for the gaming, you know, you want to plug plug a game up in there and play it on the big screen, you could do that. I mean, I mean, it's versatile. I mean, you could, like I said, you could also use it, you know, with your cell phone, mirror it if you don't have that that uh, all those different devices, and you have a USB. Uh, stick in here well we, you put you can put a USB stick you know in, in this slot right here so I mean man such a such a small device with a lot of features and like I said it's not going to break the bank you, you get in a tripod you get a little new remote control you don't get this uh 4k uh, fire stick you know, and put that to the side and uh, you get your um, power you know power uh, source you know it's nothing else I can think of, you know, that, you know, you would want out of a projector. I mean, like I said, you know, you're on the budget. And most of us nowadays are on the budget. You know, you want something budget friendly and something that's going to be also has some good quality. And I think uh, they, they hit it right here with this uh, nice little mini projector. Like it's, like I said, it's small, compact, fits easily in the bag. And then, you know, they gave you some little accessories, you know, to uh, clean the screen. I mean, man man what else i mean and also like you know this right here i forgot on the bottom just doing a recap on there you can you know if you want to have it sit on a desk you can bring this screw this all the way out and sit it it'll sit up like so you know but like i said i'll be having it mounted on a tripod most of the time and uh using it with a fire stick i mean this i mean this is perfect this is perfect for for camping so uh if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you notify new videos. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell that friend, tell a friend to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe so they can see neat products like this. Because I'm telling you, you know, you want something, you know, to watch movies on, you know, to take with you. It ain't going to break the bank for whether you travel in a hotel room or you, you know, out, you know, glamping, as they say, glamping. This is what you need right here. Save you some money instead of buying all them real expensive ones and get you, know, get you something that's you know, budget friendly. It's not going to break the bank. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. Got your little cap on here. I'm telling you. But I'm going to leave a link down in the description box below where you can get more detailed information. If it's something that I mentioned, click on that link down in the description box. you find more detailed information. Like I said, I'm just a regular everyday person. You know, just making, you know, videos of neat, cool products like I, like I get right here on the channel. You know what I'm saying? Nice, nice little products. All right? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps. It really helps bring me, uh, bring more content to this channel. All right? And like I always say, treat people how you want to be treated. Treat people better than you want to be treated, all right? All right. Let's see here. The message for the day is hmm, everything that looks good, not always good. And you're probably saying, Mark, what do you mean by that? Well, you know, a lot of times you see people living in big, you know, mansions or mini mansions or big old houses and uh, bunches of cars or whatever. You might, you might, man, they got it going on, man. They, they, they look good. They look good. They, they have a nice house, nice car. But you don't realize the stress that they're going through in order to have that stuff. A lot of times, you know, they're breaking it back and, you know, uh, wrecking their brain, trying to figure out how to t take care of that stuff. And a lot of times, like expensive, like Rolls Royces and stuff like that, the upkeep on something like that is crazy. So everything that looks good is not always good. You know, a lot of times you're like, man, I wish I had this, I wish I had that. But you don't know the flip side of what goes with that, all right? That's the message for the day. Everything that don't look good, and everything that look good ain't always good, all right? This is your main man, Mark for Loose Cruise Reviews. Drop the mic, and I'm out. Peace. It's movie time, baby. Let's go out here and watch some of these movies.